From Fox 5 New York, it's time for more Good Day New York. How about repairing handbags? Do you have some in your closet you're like, I love this bag, can't throw it away, but it's a mess, right? Well, we are taking you inside Art Bag. It's a unique black-owned business on Madison Avenue where they will make your old bags new. Get out of your closet for a second. There's a unique business on the Upper East Side of Manhattan that we think you should know about. It's called Art Bag, and it's the only black-owned business on Madison Avenue. Crystal, it's so funny. I didn't know what that store was. Okay, all right. So yes. I'm ready to learn. All right, well, I am going to explain it all. It, it sits at the corner of 84th and Madison Avenue. I keep saying it's the longest-running black-owned business. It's the only black-owned business on Madison Avenue between 59th and 96th Street, the luxurious part. And whether you've got a $20,000 Hermes Birkin or you've got a $59.99 Jammy from Marshalls, they got you covered. Take a look. The story of Madison Avenue's only black-owned business begins with this man, Donald Moore. He came to New York from North Carolina in 1959 and began working as a porter for Art Bag. So the original owners saw that he was good with his hands, mm -hmm. so they said, you know, Donald, do you want to learn how to make handbags? He said, sure. It sounds like a good idea, because he knew in his mind that learning how to make handbags means that his salary would increase, he becomes more valuable to the company. By 1970, he got the owner to sell him a 5% share in the business. By 1988, he was a full partner, and in 1993, he took over the company. Chris, his son, is now the current owner. He says handbags are in his blood. At the age of seven, I began to help him make handbags, as much as a seven-year-old could. <laughs> I began stitching. Oh, so my father said, oh, you can stitch. You can stitch pretty well. Mm -hmm. So let's see how you're doing and making a lining. So around 10, 11, I started making linings. After Chris graduated from college, he found himself back in the family business. One of the first things that I implemented was um, going to department stores okay. and see if we can become their resource for handbag repairs. He snagged clients like Barney's and Bergdorf Goodman and built a reputation with luxury brands all along Madison Avenue. Art Bag was loved by Hollywood legend Cicely Tyson, former First Lady Jackie O and actress Judith Light. The Wall Street Journal acknowledges they give well-worn bags some TLC and the New York Times calls them the Birkin Bag Mechanics. Chris inherited the business and his dad's work ethic. He recalls a time when his dad made him clean the store's bathroom. He's like, you know, I made you do that because you have to start where I started. Oh. You start from the bottom, you learn every layer, and then therefore you can appreciate the people that you give directions to what they're going through. Nothing is below me right. to do because it's necessary. Chris says Art Bag's repair work involves lots of zippers and handles. Our repair service goes from anything from minor stitching mm -hmm. to total custom-made work mm -hmm. and everything in between. Mm -hmm. More often than not, the first things that go on handbags are going to be the zippers because you ladies carry way too much in the bag. <laughs> way too much. You act like you know me. What do you mean? I know, yeah. I, I know a lot. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you. <laughs> you do. It's so true. It's like the kitchen sink and a few more things. And, and a few more things, exactly. Yeah. But whenever the, a bag comes in for repair, say for a shoulder strap, we gauge our machine to the original designer's stitch mark. Oh. So it's time consuming, and that's why we charge a premium for what we do, because we do it well. No matter what style bag you have, Art Bag has you covered. The second level is where all the magic happens. It's where artisans are hard at work transforming your handbag from something old into something new. And here's a tip. If you've got hand sanitizer, keep it away from your handbag. Hand sanitizer Ooh. is alcohol-based. Yeah. And it can strip the leather from the handles. You can get it on the bag, and it'll strip the color off. Feeling confident? I was in the right place. I brought in my stained and crushed Chanel handbag, and I got a little lecture. In the future, <laughs> when you store your bags, yeah. an the old T-shirt, an old pillowcase, keep it stuffed. Okay. Because I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> no, I really am. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, we're, okay. we're, 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 we're going to make this look good. Number two is my dad's old briefcase. 
case. Yes. This bag has to be from the mid 50s. A lot of sentimental value. I, I understand. And, okay. And thus I'll handle it with kid gloves. We're going to actually replace the handle for you. Okay. And when we do so, we're going to match up the leather as closely as possible. Okay. And as far as the edges are concerned, what I'm going to do is I'm going to custom mix the color mm -hmm. for you to fade in all the worn areas. Art Bag also sells bags. This gold python clutch is its best seller. This green one is a standout stunner. And this is a one-of-a-kind piece. Lovely. That was actually made by my dad. Oh. This frame is from the 30s, mm -hmm. and you have some semi-precious stones like the malachite and rubies and things of that nature. And the lining is suede. I would have to just keep reaching in my bag for random things. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, hold on, let me get my powder out. Exactly, okay. yes. Oh, do I need to refresh my lipstick? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, it's a little work of art. Art bag. I, I was just about to say, you're taking the words right out of my mouth art bag. Yes. This is an art bag. Unique in every way, it's safe to say the word is out. Art bag is no longer Madison Avenue's best kept secret. He's amazing. <laughs> Sweet story, right? And you were just telling me you have a ton of things to bring him. I, I'm so bad with my bags. I am too. I kill them. Yeah, well, okay, not more than me. But I, okay, so this is the, yeah, your yeah. So here's the Chanel. Chanel. That the is The only one I own. It's not like I have 20 or 30 of them. This is the only one. And he fixed the inside. He Beautiful. got the makeup off. He worked it out for me. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not going to store it wonkily again. And this is my dad's briefcase. Uh, Brand new handle. Look how well it matches the outside. He fixed the edges. Crystal, I, mean, I could cry seeing that bag. He's cheap. It takes you back. I bet your dad had a bag like this. Yes. Right from the 1950s. He did a lovely job. He also is now doing shoe repair. So toss all your shoes, all your handbags. Don't look back. Come back a week or two later. Brand new. I love it. Crystal, okay. thank you so You're much. Welcome. All right.